The Italian Revolution is also known as the Italian Unification because its main purpose was to unify the states on the Italian peninsula into one country. To achieve unification, they had to defeat the large powers that controlled parts of Italy. The people living in Italian states wanted a singular strong government and culture. The revolution led to a unified Italy that was stronger than ever before. Before this revolution, the Italian peninsula was divided into states and there was no such thing as a country called Italy. When Napoleon Bonaparte was defeated in France, Austria conquered Lombardy and Venetia. Naples, the capital of the Kingdom of Two Sicilies, was in a dispute with the Bourbon dynasty and France over who ruled it. The Bourbon dynasty ended up taking control when France lost power. The Kingdom of Piedmont Sardinia was originally called the Republic of Genoa. The Papal States contained the soon-to-be capital of Italy, Rome. Tuscany, Parma, and Modena were all branches of the Habsburg, the government of Austria. The other states were Lucca, Trentino, and Trieste. All these states had different cultures, governments, and rulers, which made unification a difficult process. You're probably sitting there wondering... Why is this important? It's important because the revolution created a modern-day country of Italy, which is a trade partner with the United States of America. Now Italy is a major tourist attraction and one of the most popular countries in the world. There's also another question you may be asking. When did this revolution take place? Early to mid-19th century. You might be thinking, who was involved? The two main people involved in the revolution were Count Camillo de Cavour and Giuseppe Garibaldi. Camillo de Cavour was born in 1810 in the state of Piedmont, Sardinia. Cavour was an advisor for the King of Sardinia. He was dedicated to the unification of the northern Italian peninsula against the Austrian supremacy. He accomplished the Italian Peninsula unification with the help of Giuseppe Garibaldi. Giuseppe Garibaldi was an Italian soldier and patriot. He was one of the main people who helped achieve Italian unification under the House of Savoy. He was originally born in France and then moved to South America as exile. Giuseppe Mazzini, an Italian politician and journalist, wrote a letter to Pope Pius IX calling for the unification of Italy. He said, Unification would come anyway because it was part of God's providence, but better if under the papal patronage with you at its head. Our struggle will take on a religious aspect and liberate us from the risks of reaction and civil war. These Italian states were eventually unified to create what is now known as modern-day Italy. Italy is now a home to more than 60 million people. It is a major tourist attraction, and it was the home to many scientific advancements and musical... Oh, I get it. So future Italian political turmoils didn't impact the state to the same degree. Yep! Yeah.